If you feel like new Pixel phones arrived sooner this year, you were right. Google's August Pixel hardware event gave us not a duo but a quartet of new phones, starting at one end with the new baseline Pixel 9 and freshly topped with the Pixel 9 Pro 4. Into larger phones, then the Axel nomenclature should tip you off as to where you might want to spend your money. This is the direct successor to last year's 6.7 inch Pixel 8 Pro. It's the biggest Pixel yet and it sports a new design that marks a relatively significant shift in the series aesthetic. The camera bar introduced with the Pixel 6 series is gone and instead we have the camera peel. The fit and finish have unquestionably been elevated with the phone's polished frame adopting a much flatter form that's decidedly iPhone-like in its execution. And Google says new construction methods are material choices make it twice as durable as its predecessor. In reality, the Pixel 9 Pro Axel feels great with the best build quality I have seen from Google to date, not to mention it looks superb thanks to an updated super actual display that boosts higher peak brightness than anything Apple or Samsung has to offer. The move to an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is welcome too, delivering on Google's promised speed improvement. The same 7-year commitment to OS and security updates helps the Pixel 9 series stand apart from rivals from Apple and Motorola. The phone's earlier than usual arrival in the calendar year means that this is the first generation of Pixel in a long time that doesn't debut with a new build of Android. It will benefit from the same future releases of Android as the Pixel 8 line and likely no more. Beyond the usual fear of a clean Pixel experience, AI is all Google is talking about, with an updated Gemini Nano model that is multi-model and three times more capable running on device. You will find AI-generated features throughout the user experience. Most notably, there are three new apps to play with, a new weather app that's richer and more customizable, with AI-generated weather reports, a new screenshots app that as well as helping organize your captures allows for semantic search, and Pixel Studio which allows for on-device text-to-image generative AI that Google pitches as a new creative tool. Feel free to reconcile your feelings about using AI-generated imaginary in your own time. The cost of the Pixel 9 Pro and Pro Excel also includes a year's access to Google One AI Premium with Gemini Advanced and its new Gemini Live feature. Gemini Live is a decidedly chat GPT-4 like conversational experience with Google's off-device AI. It works well for things like how to guidance and recipe help but still comes with limitations surrounding how it can actually action on device tasks for you. All the on-device AI experiences are powered by Google's new Tensor G4 SoC paired with new higher RAM ceiling of 16GB. Previous pixels already felt fast in day-to-day -day use but existing users will notice speed improvements for things like image processing and app load times even if these gains are seemingly slight. Benchmarks only put the Tensor G4 about 10% ahead of G3 in terms of CPU performance with more noticeable graphical gains and, of course, NPU gains for AI tasks. The other big aspect of any modern AI-enhanced Pixel phone is the camera experience. The hardware looks for the most part similar to the Pixel 8 Pro, albeit with a much higher resolution selfie snapper with a tweaked ultra-wide on the back. However, Google claims to have reworked its HDR Plus pipeline end-to-end, -end, meaning more true-to-life imagery. In daylight, I had few complaints and the Pixel 9 Pro delivers great detail and accurate colors and with dynamic range. Night sight 
and shoots low light shooting is almost always rescued from unusable to usable even if it can still be a little heavy handed in its post processing. The expansion of that HDR plus pipeline to panoramas means much better results especially as night sight is now supported here too although I do wonder whether this upgrade will simply manifest as a feature drop update for previous pixel models in the near future. Another Pixel 9 Pro exclusive is Video Boost, which can now scale 4K footage up to 8K and proves particularly useful when zooming up on the phone's 20x limit. There's another side to the imaging experience on recent Pixel's Magic Editor. Beyond moving elements around in a shot of turning a blue sky to golden hour, the new reimagined button lets you enter text to generate completely new elements in a shot. It's unquestionably fun and creative, but it also throws out any semblance of authenticity to shots you have captured yourself. Unlike the Samsung, there is no AI watermarking going on with edited images either. Although that Tensor G4 chipset doesn't mark a huge leap forward in raw horsepower, it certainly has helped with power efficiency. With the Pixel 9 Pro XL serving up almost 70% more screen on time compared to the Pixel 8 Pro. The jump from 30W to 37W wired fast charging speeds in a small but welcome bump too, although it looks like you'll have to grab Google's 45W charger for the absolute quickest recharge times based on my testing with similar chargers. Perhaps the biggest benefits with the Pixel 9 Pro line offers is that beyond the Axel's larger screen and physically bigger battery, there is no compromise across both sizes. If you are happy with the premium, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is the most unapologetic, bombastic Pixel experience you can have right now outside of foldable land. Even if the jump from the Pixel 8 Pro isn't as significant as I would have liked and it feels like this is a more a means for Google to cultivate new Gemini advanced subscribers, I can't help but appreciate the Pixel 9 Pro XL for being greater than the sum of its parts. It may only be just enough of an upgrade, but it is enough. While Google announced four phones at its August 2024 event, the standard Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro XL are the two that hit the market first on August 2020. Meanwhile, the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro Fold arrive on the scene September 4. In the UK, you can pick up the Pixel 9 Pro XL with double the storage at no extra charge on purchases made from September 5. US buyers can nab $200 US dollar in store credit if ordering before August 28 and Australian buyers can pick up a limited edition poster with purchases made before August 25. The addition of the new smaller Pro model this year helps Google justify its decision to render the Pixel 9 Pro XL the most expensive candy bar Pixel to date. It starts at US$1,099. It's practically like for like when compared to equivalent storage option of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, truly putting an end to the notion that the Pixels are the affordable flagship option. For the asking price, you also get a year's access to Google One AI Premium 2TB plan which as well as granting access to Gemini Advance and Gemini Live includes more general Google benefits like Fitbit Premium Access, Nest Air, 10% back on Google Store purchases and unlimited magic editor saves in Google Photos. A pixel in iPhone font, that's the shorthand I keep coming back to the newer Pixel 9 series design language. The size and feel of the Excel's new squared aluminum frame immediately reminds me of Apple's current iPhone 15 Plus and iPhone 15 Pro Max in the hand. Does that polished metal attract fingerprints? Absolutely, but not anywhere near as badly as expected. This new squared form paired with the heaviest build of any candy bar Pixel yet leads to a more premium look and feel overall. This is helped further by the Pixel 9 Pro XL's slimmer profile compared to the Pixel 8 Pro and side by side with my wife's old Pixel 6 Pro, the jump in build quality is truly impressive. 
One update I am not sure I love quite so much is the loss of the camera bar which is replaced in this generation with a camera peel that protrudes out of the phone's rear panel at 90 degrees. It makes for a more bold and confident aesthetic but it's not as quickly identifiable as the bar. As well as the cosmetic changes, Google also claims that the Pixel 9 Pro Axel's new mid-frame design, not to mention its 100% recycled aluminium outer frame, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 front and rear panels, and IP68 certified protection against dust and water ingress, make the new phone twice as durable as its predecessor. In my time with the Pixel 9 Pro Axel, by trying to keep it out of harm's way as much as possible, the finish has remained unscathered. But whether it will age as gratefully as its titanium clad competition from Apple and Samsung remains to be seen. Both sizes of Pixel 9 Pro come in four colorways, with Obsidian pictured most prominently in this review. The hazel finish most closely apes the iPhone 15 Pro's natural titanium look and the Galaxy S24 Ultra's titanium grey, while porcelain and rose quartz offer decidedly more vivacious options. Nowhere is AI more prevalent across the Pixel 9 Pro Axel's user experience than the camera. While it might have gone by machine learning in the early days of the Pixel camera experience, AI-powered post-processing has been the secret sauce that has helped elevate the reputation of the Pixel cameras over the past four years, to the point where they regularly sit among the best camera phones. As Google has focused its efforts on AI more directly, the proposition of a Pixel camera has changed somewhat, with capture and editing becoming two distinct facets of the experience. If you are looking for a great all-round camera phone, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is right up there. A revised HDR Plus pipeline puts into practice the company's learnings from previous entries paired with new training data to create images with a more true-to-life appearances, better exposure, dynamic range, details, contrast, and colors. Should you buy the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL? Buy it if you want 
the richest mobile AI experience. Samsung's Galaxy AI is great, but Google's execution with Gemini Advanced is easier, richer, and more fun to use. Buy it if you want an excellent camera phone. The Pixel 9 Pro Excel's camera system is a small but appreciated upgraded on its predecessors, highlighted by a new bag of AI supported tricks you can't get outside of the Pixel family. Buy it if you plan on using this phone for a long time. Still among the best there is Google commitment to 7 years OS and security updates is once again hard to argue with. Don't buy Google Pixel 9 Pro XL if you want fast charging. Battery life is greatly improved but despite a bump in speed, the Pixel 9 Pro XL's 37 watt wired charging is still well behind what rivals like OnePlus and Xiaomi offer. Don't buy it if you want the best RAM and memory. While Samsung forges ahead, Google seems reluctant to move to the latest, fastest, and most power-efficient RAM and storage in its phones, which stings when they cost about the same. Don't buy it if you want to play a lot of games. Google's mobile silicon isn't built for gaming and while the Tensor G4 handles intense games as well, you will get a much better experience with a recent iPhone or any flagship rival running the latest Snapdragon chipset.